Hello Capricorn, welcome to your reading. This is a Thoughts, Feelings, Intentions reading. I forgot to turn on the camera, so, and the cards were so beautiful, I couldn't resist leaving them. You are here for a victory in love. We have Magician and the Mirror, so somebody is trying to attract you and almost go unseen in doing it. They're trying to be very subtle. Others around you are envying your success at this time. So that victory that you have in your life that's going on is something that others would like to have or share or covet. But it is what it is. So the Sun card is the happiest card in the deck. It is the best predictor of long-term happiness in the Tarot for a committed relationship. Your person's coming in with a, a small offer, Page of Pentacles, a message of, you know, let's go for coffee, let's... Let's just go to a movie. Let's just hang out for a little bit. Let's go for a walk. Let's see. But the sun card is all about romance, excitement, sex, you know, the horizontal mambo, the joyfulness, the laughter of a new love. It is crossed by the eight of pentacles. This person wants to get to know you, to get to know all about you. They are coming in with a very powerful leadership energy, Aries energy. We have the Eight of Coins is Virgo. They're willing to do the work. And Leo, of course, is the sun itself, is Leo energy. This Aries energy is a person who's very successful. This is a person who is typically a leader in their field or their industry. They have a high skill set. They may be well-known or not, and but they're certainly well-known in their industry. This is a person who wants things to go well for them, and they don't really mess around with anything that can't be successful. The Three of Wands, they do feel as though you are the person in their future. You are the ship that has arrived in the harbor. You know, we can see that this person is literally looking out over the ocean, and they see you as the one they want. They have chosen you. Let's see what's the best good that can come short term in this relationship, King of Wands energy. So King of Wands energy, there's a lot of the Sun card is Leo energy and the King of Wands energy. They see you as fiery, as sexy, as flirtatious, but very grounded. Somebody who does not give away their energy to just anyone, but they see you as vivacious, passionate, you look beautiful in red maybe. But we see that they really respect you. They put you on a pedestal. They think that you are just highly desirable by many. The Justice card is Libra energy. It is Libra does rule the seventh house. They see you as marriage potential. They feel as though you're very balanced, that you're elegant, that you're regal in your appearance. They love how you dress. They love how you appear. They also find you to be a very uh, good judge of people. Um, they see you as they really respect the um, your professional standing here, Capricorn. They, they really hold you in high regard, as most people do. Let's look and see what the energy is right now in the near future. They are using this, they are really doing the work of the relationship. Knight of Pentacles, this is a person with Emperor energy who understands the process of being successful at anything. So when we look at this, this person day by day is being very consistent. I feel as though they call you, they talk to you, they keep you front and center in their mindset, they want to be front and center in yours. This is a very um, strategic person. Virgos are the problem solvers of the universe. Uh, it looks as though this person may have had very humble beginnings and they've worked their way into emperor status, but this is a great energy. Virgo is all about every day, day in, day out, doing what's required to make the relationship successful. It's also humble energy. We see the Seven of Swords in the situation they are, they're very concerned that there's something that they don't know. They're very, very concerned that you may have secrets that they don't know. You are a mystery to them. Um, they covet you though, and they want to do, this person is not immoral, but this person really wants you enough to, to really be strategic with you. They want to win at any cost. So we're going to, of course, clarify any negative cards that you have here. The Two of Wands, 
you know, they do think that they're going to have to step up to the next level, make a bigger offer. The Two of Wands is hidden here. They know it's about time to tell you that they've chosen you. They feel as though they need to do that to keep your attention. The Ace of Wands, there it is. There's the offer. The Ace of Wands, throwing caution to the winds, making an offer. Um, it's all about Aries energy, taking a leadership role. Very fiery, very passionate. This person is going to share their emotions with you, but they're going to keep a lot to themselves, okay? So let's look and see what the clarifier is. For the only negative card that's here, my friends, that we're going to clarify, well, we have two, the Seven of Swords. In the situation, they actually don't know much about you. Seven of Swords is sort of also being sneaky and trying to find out more about you. I think that you have a tendency to be very discreet with the Justice card. I feel as though Capricorn, you don't really give people more information. TMI, you don't do that. You don't participate in that. So this person's really curious as to what they don't know about you. We have the high priestess. What did I just say? <laughs> you are very discreet. In fact, this is clarifying the seven of swords. You just don't really talk too much about your personal life or about your history. You know, you're very much in the energy of being discreet. You keep your, your baggage or any problems that you have. You're very careful about who you would share that with. In fact, I don't think you share it much at all. I feel as though it's your job to solve your problems. That's how you look at things. But the Mother of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles energy says Capricorn. That's Capricorn Queen. So it speaks to the fact that your person is very grounded. They're very successful. They're very much on a path of they know how to take care of themselves. They, like you, only want that which is of value. Their career is very important to them. Their success, they're not really looking to anybody else to um, support them. We get the Nine of Pentacles, single, ready to mingle, somebody who's prosperous in their own right. Let's look and see what this card of envy is here about you from other people. What is going on with the envy card? Hierophant. <laughs> okay, people are envious of you because you have so many opportunities to marry different people. The Hierophant card is traditional relationship. It is Taurus energy. Uh, it is the energy of everything that embodies a stable, loving marriage, everything that's beautiful, everything that gives you abundance, it creates stability. So people are really, uh, because you're the emperor, you're highly sought after in the dating world. So it's it's why you have so much success. It's why you're deemed as being a little bit magical. Nobody knows what your secret is. So let's look at the energy of the Seven of Swords and the Heart of the Fairy Oracle. We get <laughs> the Lady of Unicorns. Okay, so they think that you have some sort or okay, so your person thinks that you have some sort of a secret of a secret desire. When we look at a secret desire with the Lady of the Unicorns, she is one of a kind, you know. We get that, you know, you may have a unicorn over here, but this is a person who's quite unique. The Lady of the Unicorns is a fairy that absolutely adores having a an affair, a sensual relationship. They strive to seduce human men. So your person is trying to figure out whether you have any unusual desires in which you would keep secret and not tell them that could actually make them lose out on having you. So, you know, say you have a secret desire to only date people from other countries. That could be a, a very typical way that the Lady of Unicorns could express herself. Nope, I don't date people of my own culture. I only date people of different cultures. Uh, something out of the norm for, you know, a human being, quote unquote. So that's what I see, Capricorn. It looks like you have a wonderful offer coming in. I'm excited for you in this reading. 
in the comments below, I am hoping to find different um, different things that you would like to hear about. Uh, people are leaving comments and giving me reading ideas for what they would like to see me perform or do for you on the channel, and I'm doing them as comments come in. I produce a video typically as a general reading in the dailies, um, when I present dailies. So anyway, I am going to request that if you like the reading, if you like the channel, as with all creators, the only way anybody can have a successful YouTube channel is if all of you step up and give that thumbs up, you give that the comment, you participate, because otherwise YouTube judges a video not to be of value, and then they don't push it out to others. So just hoping for your support and so grateful for all of my fabulous supporters. Thank you for the last two years. I'm so grateful. Take care, everyone. Have a good one. Bye-bye.